Hello, uh, my name is Shanks. It's a short form for uh, Shankar Sitaram. I'm originally from Bombay, India, and I came to Canada in 1998 and became a professor. Uh, after working for two years in the corporate business, my background is that I've been in advertising and marketing, and I specialized in drug marketing. And uh, very typical of me in 1977, when I started working, I was just about uh, 20, and uh, I was uh, hoping to be a journalist. And very quickly, I joined advertising, became an account executive, a person who handled clients, and all the wins of all the clients. And uh, then to, I was fairly successful. I became a manager, a general manager, all by the time I was 30. I had a string of qualifications by that time. I had studied in college and university. And uh, I think I've always been a person who's always meant to do good for others. And so, rightly after I came to Canada and struggled uh, for the first two, three years, I found teaching uh, simply because a few people gave me lucky breaks all along. Somebody started me in part-time teaching, somebody else asked me to meet someone else, and uh, that's how it started, and I became a full-time professor. I started many programs in the place where I work, and uh, many of the students come from India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and my heart goes out to them. Like, for instance, this morning I went for a walk, and, you know, I just realized that um, maybe I should post something on YouTube which is totally free and uh, straight advice and for young people who wish to come to Canada to study and perhaps immigrate. First of all, let me tell you, this is a great country, and it does demand a few things of you. You need to recognize that. Uh, like any other country, it has its unique culture. And now, because of several groups of people from different parts of the world, you have to realize that you're no longer in India or in Bangladesh. And you do have to accept all cultures, uh, including cultures which you perhaps do not relate to. So the first thing to do is to set your mind into a mode, an attitude, where you believe that you will adapt, uh, you will contribute, you will become a productive person in society. And when I say these, these are not cliches. You know, I didn't believe in most of this when I came here. And the truth is, within a year, I realized that the great Canadian culture is to be of great service to the community. Individually, if you work together, collectively, you can make a big difference. I know it sounds very cliche, but uh, it is true. Now, first of all, so as I said, your attitude. The second thing is that uh, you have to be prepared to work. Whether you study, or you're trying to find something, you must be prepared to work. And there are many jobs here. It can go from flipping burgers to telemarketing to uh, delivery work and you know you shouldn't have hang-ups about it the reason for that is because when you work it's not just about the money that helps you to pay because if you come from Indian Bangladesh the exchange rate is pretty high and I believe it's now 50 bucks for the Indian rupee and it's about 75 or 80 for the Bangladeshi Dhaka and uh, as much for the Pakistani rupee so one of the key considerations is to start working and try and just, they don't care about your qualifications. So uh, learn to earn so that it keeps you busy and you don't feel desperate because of the exchange rate issues. The second thing is that when you do uh, work, whatever, please network. It doesn't matter who that person is, but everybody needs somebody to give them a break. And the third most important thing is please study in this country. Uh, one of the great uh, virtues of being from that part of the world is that we're used to hard work, we're used to academic uh, pressure, and some of you may come as married people with children. So please remember that no one is out to get you, but you, everyone is interested in furthering their own, you know, their own lives. So that's more or less the first basic stuff that you need to do. Other stuff like make make uh, inquiries about uh, you know your career, um, 
There are simple ways, like for instance, there's something called an informational interview. If you're trying to meet somebody who's influential in a position of power who can hire you, rather than go and ask them straight away for a job, you should what you should do is ask them for an hour of their time at their convenience. And it may only be on a day where it may clash with other things of yours. Please try and honor those commitments. Land up and have a question and answer session ready with them so that you get to know that industry and very specifically what kind of qualifications they look for. Now, qualifications are of always of two kinds. One is the ones that you do in a college and university. And the other is what are you as a person? Are you personable? Do you get along with people? What are your other skill sets? Uh, are you very whole brain? Are you very critical in thinking? Uh, are you good with math? If you're not, you should make it your business to be. Uh, and remember one thing, you have to be better than someone else. Uh, so you have to learn to be very competitive at the same time. So it sounds like a bit of a mix of emotions. You know, you need to be competitive and also helpful and different situations demand different emotions. Uh, informational interview is definitely one. The other one is to go for training sessions. The government in uh, in Ontario, for instance, has uh, the human resources development. Uh, go for these training sessions. I believe some of them are free. And if your English skills are not good, make it your business to do that. Uh, when you're with people in your own community, try and speak more in English. Watch English programs. Uh, learn to read English books and magazines. Pick up stuff which is available free. Even in your grocery store, you'll see a lot of newspapers and magazines. Get familiar with the language and nuances. Nobody's very concerned about your accent uh, because they have several accents out here. And quite honestly, English has several, you know, uh, parentage to it. So if you're from England, you have a certain kind of accent. If you're from India, and depending on which part of India you're from, you'll have different accents and so on. And uh, so if you need more information, please write to me. Uh, I have no intention to charge any money for anybody. All I want to do is genuinely want people, when they come to this country, how to adapt. And uh, it's very different from any other country. Uh, and trying to believe that uh, people who are, uh, you know, Anglo-Saxon descent are like this and like that are all very, very foolish ways to prevent yourself from succeeding. So if you're a student, there are several ways to succeed. And if you're an adult who's looking for a career and a job in Canada, there are different ways. So please write to me. I'm at Shang C. It's a short form for my full name. My full name is Shankar Sitharam. And the email is shanks, S-H-A-N-K-S-E-E, -E, shanksy at gmail.com. Good talking to you.